tacos with touches of deco. It's rich with historical elegance and fine art. And it comes with a $40,000 price tag. We found friends who think they can recreate this beautiful living room in their own home with only 10% of the original budget. With only $4,000 to spend, these two teams will have to pull out all the stops as they compete to see who can make the winning design match. One high-end designer room. Two homeowners trying to match it. With only one-tenth the original budget. The designer of the model room will judge which couple comes out on top. And gets to keep a prized piece from the designer room for making the best design match. This elegant living room that reinvents the look of the 1930s for the new millennium is the unmistakable work of designer Lois McCauley. This room is based on the design principles that were used in the 1930s that we call deco. And I've reinterpreted that into furniture that has context for our lives today. I'm working with east and west joining. It was a, a principle then, it's a principle now. I love the refinement of the Chinese design. Lois, this is an absolutely stunning room. Thank you, Meredith. Beautiful, elegant. The beauty of the line comes out instead of the beauty of the decoration. I can't help but look around this room and see all the wonderful art. The beauty of the line you mentioned is expressed perfectly by the arrangement of the art. We have really lucky homeowners on this one. Absolutely. Very and lucky. they have their work cut out for them. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> Jennifer is a bar owner. Her friend Nigel thinks it's time she stopped living with her college days decor. Go. Come on in. Okay. This is a grown-up room. Oh, but I'm not a grown-up. It's okay. <laughs> it's there's, some, grown up. there's some yeah. fun things in here. Like what? Is. Like that statue? Is that fun? That what fabric's about? interesting. It's actually tall. I could see it as a shirt. Really? Yeah. I see I more of a skirt. I just find it busy for my taste. Okay. okay. It's a little too figurative yeah. and childlike. She's done this wonderful woven sort of silk seagrass on mm -hmm. the walls. Yeah. What do you think about wallpaper? I like the walls. It's wallpaper, but it doesn't seem that, that well, it's not the wallpaper that you used to do. It's like a um, silk yeah. grass cloth. Yeah. I'm concerned about finding wallpaper that's inexpensive mm. because this is like, this is not cheap. We could actually achieve this uh, by doing a faux finish. Okay. And doing like a strie with a glaze. I, I like the drape and the blind very much. You like both of them in tandem? Yeah. I prefer the one or the other. Um, I, you, it seems a little. A it just seems a little, a little busy. Like Redundant. Both of them. Is that the word? Yeah, you're it's just for? not logical. I like the starfish. I wouldn't have thought I would. What do you mean you like the starfish? I like the it's, starfish. It's a starfish on a table. Well, how often does one see that? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> how mm -hmm. is fastidious about matching? Right. So Dan and Susan, you can bet your bottom dollar. We'll have a starfish. Uh huh. We want to beat them, so we'll okay. have a starfish okay. and we'll keep an eye on the some. prize. Yeah. Okay. Dan and Susan are friends of Jen and Nigel. Investment banker Dan wants to transform his TV room into an elegant sitting area. Susan, Dan, welcome to our model room. Wow. wow. Very nice. Yeah, this is gorgeous. It's really zen. I like that. One of our key elements to work towards is east meets west, i.e. this yep. great chinoiserie fabric, yep. which uh, I think you can see repeated in this right. amazing chair over here. Contrast. Contrast between natural paper and silk. Contrast between fur. You know, one element of something that's faux fur. That to me is a big contrast. If that's the one thing I don't see tying together in the room. I really find that wallpaper speaks a lot, and it blends in with the other textures in the rooms. You have to do the work. I look forward to it. I think we can handle it. Did I actually hear you say you look forward to it? I look forward to, to it, <laughs> yes. Well, I'm going to take you at your word whether you mean it or not. Done. We can do this. We can definitely do it. Yeah. 
The prize this week, the hand knotted woolen silk rug. Beautiful. Nice. Worth nice. well over two thousand dollars. Very, very nice. Sure. It will be nice to have you guys over to my place when we can all sit on the carpet. I'll grab some Should red you wine. win, I will definitely, definitely be spilling red wine on your rug. <laughs> I've seen the competition. Yeah. I think it's going to come to us. We've heard the competition more, um, and actions speak louder than words. Here we are. Wow. This is good. As you can see, I bought you wallpaper, so I'm really hoping you were serious yeah. about that. I was that. very serious yeah. about it. I'm looking forward to it. OK, so we have wallpaper. We've got <laughs> different furniture. Yeah, it's a bit it's, of a different feel. It's kind of a guy's TV room. It's yeah. not East meets West. It's guy meets guy. TV. <laughs> you know where I'm going with this? Absolutely. Do you know where I'm going with this? You. I hear you. Yes. Like going, going, gone. Yeah. Gone. Yes. Yeah. Superb. If we can't find a gilt chair that's totally covered in a Chinese chintz, right. maybe we sort of look for something. Well, we could pick that up in, in fabric and maybe do some pillows. Accents. Do you sew? And I sew. <laughs> All I can say is it's a great thing that you sew, Susan, mm -hmm. and it's a wonderful thing, Dan, that you're willing to attempt, attempt. the wallpaper right. because what that means is we have a lot more money for shopping. Mm. And we can DIY. I don't know what that means, but we can do it. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> we have to paper one wall, sew cushions, replace all of the furniture and the light fixtures, and do it all for less than $4,000. Victory. 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 Voila. Well. Here it is. It's about half the size of Lois's room. Mm -hmm. And it's got a lot of ugly things in it. What about a chair nook over here? A chair nook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her room's not very nooky, though. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I meant you know, there are a few nooky, nooks nooky. <laughs> in her room. I don't think that the lighting situation in here is optimal. Normally, well, you don't like the broken lamps? <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah they exactly. fall off. Yeah. Like, like, that's in danger of falling off. We talked about the taupe walls. Yes. I have taupe throughout my house. I didn't want to have more taupe, but mm -hmm. you seem to think that that's not going to be an issue. So I'm just going to blindly trust you, even though I really <laughs> don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I also think tactically, because I have seen Dan's room, the, he's got a much larger surface area to have to paint to achieve the same effect. So, so we're going to tire them out, and that's how we're going to win? We can win by attrition, <laughs> exactly. You guys are vicious, and oh, I love yeah. it. But I think what we could do is get rid of this hideous peel and stick tile mm -hmm. and eau de carpet remnants. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think we're going to need a dumpster. Oh, yeah. No, oh, let's throw stuff out. That'd be so fun. Like a big dumpster, and I could throw lots of stuff out? That would just make my day. <laughs> We have to paint the room taupe, faux finish one wall, replace the flooring and the light fixtures, then find small furnishings that will fit into this tiny room. Next, Jen and Nigel don't make my job any easier. You know, we could always go with the two of these. No. Our homeowners have made their plans and are ready to spring into action to try and match this $40,000 Art Deco room for a mere $4,000. First thing you have to do for wallpaper, because this is already painted, is you have to rough up the wall. After that, you wash the wall, then you need plumb lines on the wall yep. to determine so the wallpaper doesn't go on screwy, yep. and then you set the paper and put it up. This is DIY. DIY? Do it, Do it yourselves. yourselves. Okay. You so, rolled out at 112? Yes, we've got 112 right here. I'll mark it. That's true. That's trust. That's faith. <laughs> okay, so. Step back. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, well, that's gonna look good. That gives you a bit of an idea. The texture yeah. and the color of that, uh -huh. which makes the two winning elements yeah. victory. Oh. <laughs> Are you nervous? My first challenge will be getting Jen to approve the new paint color. Drum roll, drum roll. Breathless anticipation. Ooh. Oh my god, that's hideous. Of course you'd say that. Okay, it looks a lot lighter in the can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not bad. That's Actually, nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's gonna look good. Yeah. I really like it. You like it? Yeah. I think painting is really stressful. You know, many relationships have ended over like a paint roller. Time is ticking away. So we've recruited Design Match handyman Jamie to help with the wallpaper. We need to move on to other tasks. Indeed, thank you, Jamie, very much. There he is. Um, a little help from our friend? Yes. Oh, close your eyes. No, really, close them. You'll love it. You'll, You'll love like the surprise. You'll okay, love I like it. surprises. Go ahead. There it is. Do you love it? Wow. I know. Cool, eh? Yeah. That's great. Good. I that is really, really great. Jen and Nigel claim they were up all night painting, which explains Jen's total lack of energy this morning. Now I'm going to show them how to faux finish their wall to match the grass cloth wallpaper in the model room. I'm not paying attention. My technique here, roll the glaze that we've just made on very thinly. Go through the glaze, wipe off the excess, and we'll create the pattern. Instead of sort of overlapping as good wallpaper installers do and making sure it's like a seamless, Lois wanted to see them. She wanted that context of the horizontal versus the vertical. So we matched that. Yes. Yeah, it's shower time, man. Not together. No. <laughs> After Jen's shower, we all go shopping while Carpenter Jamie installs laminate flooring to replace Jen's old peel and stick tile. Only one day left before our guest designer comes to judge the rooms. Okay. It's time to shop for furniture that will complete our match. Here that I think is so perfect. It's gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. The texture is wonderful. Texture is the key, I find. Absolutely. It's Above gorgeous. all, it's yeah. a natural fabric. That's going to work really nicely with those cushions. And actually, the green could accent the cushions as well, potentially. My that God, green. when did he become a designer? And um, look up. Look way up. <laughs> Gee, Look that at works, the light. doesn't it? Yes. It's a drum. It's got the metal coming down. Yeah. I think that's perfect. These linens are really nice. Yes, but we're not doing a bedroom. Okay, I'm just saying what I like. You know, we could always go with two of these. No. Thank you. Hey, look at that. That's exactly like what was in the showroom. It's very similar anyway, except it is. maybe not as stripey. Okay, but You're that? coming with me. D that's good, that'll appease her for a while. Now, now the color is a little different, like she had green. Yeah, but I think the feel's the same. It's not gilded, but it is an old piece. Yeah, but it's close enough to match. Mm -hmm. We don't want to gild the lily. No, we don't. Look at these. They're perfect. Well, they're not they're nice. white. Yeah, but they're exactly the same, basically. I know, they're very similar. Hers were white, and Lois is a little ahead of her time. Like, there's nothing. I've looked. There's mm -hmm. no frames in the city that we can find that are white. They're also, like, 35% off. So that'll match into our budget perfectly. Are we on a budget? <laughs> <laughs> Next, Lois judges how well our homeowners have matched her spectacular model room. You are prepared. Mm -hmm to throw your bodies down on this carpet. Yes. It's not going anywhere. It's day three of our design match, and designer Lois McCauley will be judging our homeowner's hard work. 
The wallpaper is up in Dan and Susan's room, and Jen and Nigel have completed their faux finish. The prize rug is delivered, and the final pieces are ready to be placed in Dan and Susan's room. So the combination of this with the shades nice. over there yeah. and the texture yeah. over there, I think is really great. The pièce de résistance, as they I'm say. Like, look, goosebumps. Oh, wow. Yeah. Susan, congratulations. What I intentionally did is I just gave a bit of a seam to give a little more texture to the wallpaper. You, you, brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> These are our chores. Accent chair. I think the darker wood is better. I think that's a little more echoes the, the chair that she had. Do you know what's happening? East is East. meeting West. <sighs> Dan and Susan managed to do all this for $3,670. These sort of bring that east-west feel in, and it makes it more prominent. Right. Right. Smell it. Uh, I'd rather not. Smell it. OK. It smells really good. It smells like this. <laughs> it smells absolutely revolting. I know. Thanks. That's very <laughs> sweet of you. And you knew it with, smelled bad. She's gone with a smaller scale table here to match the smaller scale of the room. We match the, the light fixtures. It's also linen. Really? The fur pillow, too, is always, always yeah. an exact, almost an exact match. Well, I'm aware that you are prepared mm -hmm. to throw your bodies down on this carpet. Yes. It's not going anywhere. Including $570 for the laminate floor and $125 for the faux finish materials, we came in under budget at $3,960. It's time for our guest designer, Lois McCauley, to judge how well our couples have matched her signature room. Welcome. Hello. Hello, Hello. Lois. This is Susan. And Dan, our homeowners. So pleased to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Susan. Pleasure Dan. to meet you. Welcome to our room and welcome to our home. Thank you very much for coming. Thank by. you. I think it has the, shall we call it serenity, oh. that I that I like to have in my designs. The William Birch sofa is not exactly the modern style that I had there. The window curtains look so much better in this room than mine did in mine. Thank you very much. I see that the, the idea and the placement of the art has been kept so that there's a large piece above the sofa that's not overly large. There's two paintings, one above the other. And that quartet of four pieces across the grass cloth wall is here. If the next person you see coming through that door is me, you've won the carpet. If it's a mover, I still congratulate you on a beautifully pulled together room. Well, Lois, we got one thing to say, and I don't think we've ever meant it more. Hope to see you soon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is our room. This is our room, yeah. The first thing I saw were the paintings on the wall. They're an original Toronto artist that's uh, recently deceased. I think they're sort of Picasso inspired, and I think the, the idea was the color. Plus we saw the plate that you had. Oh, that's saw. right, yes. Mm -hmm. all, so we mm -hmm. tried to match that. And I like this artistic feeling you faux painted the wallpaper. The faux finish was a difficult and long process, but we wanted to really try and capture the grass paper and the seams. I really like the seams. Well, I agree with you. My favorite part of grass cloth paper is the <laughs> seams, the, the horizontal mm -hmm. lines of the grass cloth and then the vertical lines of the seams. Right. These two pieces are splendid, and they're wonderful examples of a Rococo chinoiserie, and that's what we're looking at here. You were probably hard pressed to find a chair, mm -hmm. and this is a French chair. It is a bergère. The black and white print really has another whole design direction than any other element in the room or mm -hmm. any other element in my room. 
You've done a beautiful room. I have a very difficult job ahead of me. Let's cross our fingers right. for our We'll see sales. you soon. Right. We'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Next, designer Lois McCauley reveals which couple made the best design match. Guest designer Lois McCauley has visited and evaluated both rooms. Our homeowners wait anxiously for her decision on who will get to keep the $2,000 carpet. We worked hard. I know. I know. All we can do is wait. That's right. They're taking our carpet away. I'm so sorry. That's okay. That room was much smaller than the model room. So they had to do a freer rendering of the ideas, and I think that brought out more creativity. The sofa was small scaled, it was the right look. The two little chairs were small scaled. So they got a lot of furniture in the room without crowding it. It was fun, it was lively, and so was the homeowner. So the design matched the person living there, and that is really critical. Jen and Nigel, you've done a wonderful job here. I hope you really enjoy not only the room, mm -hmm. but the carpet. Yeah. Yes. Congratulations. And you made these two speechless. Thank you so much. Good job. I know. Good job. <laughs>